my makeup. <laughs> Sorry for being too drama. Hi guys, I'm Phoebe and I'm second year student majoring in math. Today is the last day I stay in Hong Kong before I come back to my hometown in mainland China before the new year holiday. And I believe they will be super productive because today starts with my favorite class. Basically, I'm just going to the school for grabbing a cup of coffee and then attending my math lecture. So let's start today. I walk down this hilly road and take the metro every morning to the university. My hands are literally shaking when filming. It takes only one minute in the metro to my university. I'm going to the main library, Sneva, the coffee academics, to grab a cup of coffee. It's 10 past 9 a.m. I'm waiting for my coffee. I couldn't believe I'm the only one in the classroom. Our first lecture starts at 9.30 and enjoy! My next lecture starts after two hours, so I come to this cafe again to review what I've learned. We were learning Lebesgue measure. You probably heard the concept of Riemann integration in high school. When calculating the area under the curve over an interval, we divide the interval into subintervals and add up the area of each rectangle. When the width of each subinterval tends to zero, we can get an approximation of the area. But not all the functions are Riemann integrable. Here is a typical example. If we still apply Riemann integration, we can no longer approximate the area by rectangles, as there are infinitely many rational and irrational numbers in every interval. A French mathematician, Henri Levesque, also discovered that Riemann integral doesn't work well for unbounded functions centuries ago, thus inventing another way of integration, Lebesgue integration, which has much wider applications in the real world. The concept of Lebesgue measure that I'm learning is the basis of this integration. After self-studying for an hour, I decide to go to canteen to have lunch. It's located in Swile Building. Although it's a student residential hall, it's famous for its Chinese cuisine. Stir-fried chicken with green beans and stir-fried diced beef with black pepper. They look so nutritious and appetizing. And this soup is the free side dish. I'm satisfied with this meat, the best reward after the class. Now I'm going to the next class. While walking along, I start to appreciate the surrounding scenery more. My next class is in May Hor. I have three consecutive classes this afternoon, a one-hour academic English class in May Hor followed by a two-hour French class in Van Rocho Tower and a one-hour math lecture in the library building extension. I'm just so busy walking in and out of different classrooms, so forgive me for not taking any videos meanwhile. After the class, I go to Udeli to have some snacks. I haven't tried this catering outlet before, but my friend highly recommended it to me. Look at these Japanese dumplings and takoyaki. The sauce tastes so good. 
but I'm slightly worried about its high calorie. I'm on the lift to Zhihua Library in campus. I have a game theory class tomorrow, so I'm reading the materials beforehand. Because the game theory course I'm taking is under the math department, it is more about the proofs than the applications. My first class starts with an interesting game, Sing. Let me introduce this game to you. I personally find it quite intriguing. Here are six dots. The first player can draw a red line between any two dots, and the second player can draw a blue line between any two dots. Two players will play alternatively. The first one who gets a triangle of the same color on the three sides will lose the game. Here is a simple case when the blue player loses the game. Then the professor asked us some thought-provoking questions like, will the game end in a draw? If it will not, can one of the players have a winning strategy? Who can have that winning strategy? What will be that winning strategy, etc.? Learning math is like I spend a lot of time thinking and writing proofs, but I'm always overwhelmed by the conciseness of the standard proof. It's 7.30 p.m. I'm going to take my COVID testing result from the testing center. Looking at these rows, I can understand when I got lost when I came to my university for the first week. I'm in the metro station, waiting for the metro. Because many students are still in their hometown for the holiday, there aren't many people here. Hope my testing result is negative. I clearly remember a year ago, I had to complete a series of complicated processes in the airport, and I arrived at my quarantine hotel at 3 a.m. I had to stay in the quarantine hotel for 21 days. Luckily, China has loosened COVID-19 policies. With my negative test result, I can return home without any restrictions. Look at how excited I am in the airport. I don't need to do anything else. I can just walk out and get to my home. It's such smoke. After I leave the testing center, I go to the gym to walk out. Last semester, I rarely did exercise. I always felt like I couldn't concentrate or think quickly. I was too sluggish to make things done efficiently. So I decided to make some changes this semester, starting by walking out three times a week in the gym. I still remember the first time I came to the gym. The coach asked me to do this exercise. Although the weight he put is the lightest one, 5 kg, I felt exhausted and I even couldn't go downstairs at the normal pace after the training. After walking out for an hour, I just put on my cardigan and go back to my dormitory. Our dorm supervisor decorated the dormitory for the upcoming Chinese New Year holiday. Look at this decorative item of Cai Shen Ye, the God of Wells. Hope we can be rich in 2023. I just got the portion of this car key blanket from Taobao. This blanket matched so well with my comforter. I'm drinking my protein shake after the exercise. This blender bottle makes me look like a fitness enthusiast. Though I'm not, obviously. Say hi. 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 I'm on my bed right now. I still have to do a little bit work. So... So I pick up my iPad again. I'm reading one of the reference books recommended by the professor. 
but I feel like I'm not that into the author's writing style, hesitating to persist in reading or changing a book. Meanwhile, my roommate just came in, and we talk about what we did in the winter break. And it's time to sleep. Have a good night.